Welcome to the testing world. So now we have seen how to create a feature file, run QX test file, and we also seen how we can create mapping. Now we need to write code for steps. Like for each of the steps that we are going to execute in the feature file, we need to write a code for that. So I'm just moving to the Eclipse and here I'm starting with the given user is on the login page to take the user on the login page. First, we need to create the driver object and then we need to create driver object. So if you notice here in the base, we have already written the method which will generate the driver instance will enter URL means if you enter the URL, it will start the browser and enter the URL means we are on the login page. So I just need to call this method. This method is written in this class. I just copy the name of the class and going over here. So create driver instance driver and new driver instance new create driver and I have created the object of that class and it is asking for import that class so I'm just importing it and driver instance dot generate driver instance this method is going to return web driver object if you want you can check it over there so that is going to return a web driver object so whatever the object is going to return, I'm going to save like web driver driver and whatever the object that is returned will be stored in this driver. So now when this method will execute, it will call the method which will start browser enter URL and whatever the object is, it will return it. Now in next of the steps, we can use same object because it is showing the object of the web driver means the browser which is started. So now user enter username. If you remember these all methods are already written on the pages. So if we want to call the method of this page, first we need to create login page object. So what I'm doing, I'm coming here and login page login new login i'm creating a login page cl class object and it is asking for the driver object so i'm passing the driver object which is fetched by the previous step so this driver object i'm passing over here and because this object will be used in the rest of the method so i'm making it as a global now to enter the username login dot enter username and what is the username you want to pass so i'm passing like uname one in the same way now you want to call user enter password so we already have the login page object i'm using the same object login dot enter password and what password you want to send i'm setting hello one two three and now user click on the login button so login dot click sign in button so you notice i have created the code of code for few steps and just want to show you how it's executing so to execute this right click on the project and i'm going to run as maven test next i'll show you how we can call the assertions as of now, I just want to show you at least it should start the browser, enter username, enter password and click on the sign in button. So if you notice login with valid, valid credential test case is executing and given user is on the login page. So it is starting browser for it. So let me let it start the browser and then I'll show you rest of the scenario. So browser is started. And now it will enter URL. So URL is entered. Now it should enter username and the password. So username entered and the password entered sign in button clicked. So if you notice my steps are executing. Now it's executing second test case. 
as of now second test case i did not enter anything only the given part will execute because given is same in first and second test case so as of now test case one is executed perfectly rest of the things are not correct because rest of the things we did not mention so it's not executed now i'll show you i'll write rest of the steps as well so here i'm just closing it that and at the end i'll show you the report as well but let me complete that here we have written click on the sign in button user logged in successfully so then in then we want to validate it is working fine or not for the validation hope you remember we have created assertions so we can call assertions over here so hope you remember in assertion we have validate page url or maybe validate any element so i'm using that assertion over there i need to write the assertion so hope you remember it was compare class and there is a static method so i'm saying validate page url we need to pass two things driver yes we are passing expected url so i'm just saying my expected url should be though it's going to be passed or failed i'm i'm not validating that part but i'm expecting it should be like that here this method hope you remember is going to return true or false if you want to check it this method will return true or false in case validate the url actually expected url same it's going to return true else false we already checked that so i'm just now i need to use junit assertions so i'm saying assert dot assert what i'm expecting i'm expecting it should be true and whatever the data it is returning is returning here i'm expecting it should be true and like this and i'm expecting true and whatever the data which is coming it could be true or false so if it is true assertion is passed false assertion is failed in the same way user enter incorrect username so i can write the same line like this this and user enter incorrect password so i'm just completing the steps might be it will pass or fail and then user validate that so i'm making that assertion as of now assertion is going to be passed or failed i'm not caring about that i'm just checking it is working fine or not and at the end if it is passed or fail it will display in the report so i just want to check in the report i'm just running test case again run as and we are selecting maven test so now i have written step definition or i'll say the steps for each of the step now we have written coding step for each of the feature file step it should execute and at the end it's going to validate if the validation is going to be passed we will display pass fail then it will display fail but at least we have implemented the complete structure so now it's performing step test case one steps now it's going to for the test case two steps so all the steps are executing assertion might be pass or fail it depends on you what kind of data you are passing to the assertions so once it is done i'm coming here and refresh the project just refresh the project you will get a target folder inside the target folder it will be cucumber html report that's a index.html that's a report file just check this file i'm just checking it browser opening this file here so here it shows the in the test case these steps are passed but the test case is failing because your validation is not working fine in the second test case test case is failing on this step and rest of the steps are skipped so ultimately it has generated one file as well hello all hope you enjoy this video if you have any questions regarding this video please ask in the comment section and also please like and subscribe for more software testing courses also we are offering a wonderful package of software testing online video courses in dollar 200 find us on facebook for more offers and updates here is the url facebook.com testing world india